back to Life of the Farmers. I am one half of the Farmers, Uniqua. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe for our future updates. And also check back on our old videos to catch up on uh, everything that's been happening. So this has been an interesting week, I'll say. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video about myself is I'm just updating uh, what's happened in the last week with my daughter's appointments and um, the doctor's office that Trinice and I go to she doesn't come in until the very end um, because my doctor has strict rules so she wasn't uh, in the incident so at our last doctor's appointment um, it started off like any other regular doctor's appointment I checked in and then I went to the maternity waiting room to wait to be called back to the back and when I did um, I was there just for the um, HIV test so yeah it was it was just supposed to be like a quick little checkup it wasn't anything in specific a woman who took my blood pressure and my weight and stuff like that she told me to go on back to the lab for my HIV screening now HIV screening is normal when you're pregnant while I'm in the, the lab waiting to get my blood drawn I'm looking at my paperwork they give you the sheet and it's basically to tell the lab what you're there for so the paper that they gave me I was looking at the check marks that she had for me and on one of them it said pre-existing risk or something like that like basically um, what factors could determine of you possibly having HIV it had three different options I want to say the first box was um, vaginal slash anal intercourse with male partner the second says vaginal slash anal intercourse with female partner and then it was like another option or like two more options I can't quite remember anyways as you know for those have been keeping up with us for these past couple of weeks I'm in a homosexual relationship with my wife of the last three plus years I haven't had sex with a male in 12 months um, which is what she had marked off now I assume that she marked it off because you know being that I'm pregnant um, she the lady who checked me in doesn't I've never exactly explained to her the situation because like I said my wife doesn't come back into the room with me until towards the end which is nothing that she has to do with she's just there to get my weight and my blood pressure so she's never seen trees um, so therefore we've never had a reason to explain our situation with her um, so when I got called back to the lab um, I asked the technician, I said, hey, you know, this box is checked wrong. Um, it's supposed to be the next box underneath. I haven't had sex with a male in the last 12 months. Um, you know, I don't know if that matters, but should I just scratch it out and <laughs> recheck the right box? The lab technician told me um, that they could not do my lab work if the paperwork was not correct because the state would reject it. So I needed to go back to the first lady who gave me the paperwork to get it fixed. I walked back to the very first room and I walked in and she was with another patient. So I, you know, waited back and like almost in the hallway and a nurse walked up to me um, and she's a nurse that's been working with us for uh, pretty much all of our appointments now. She asked me if she could be of any assistance. And I explained to her, no, that I'm just waiting for this woman here. And as we were talking, the patient that she was with was going into the restroom. So as she's in the restroom, I go to the woman and I explained to her, the, la the paperwork um, is incorrect. The lab told me to come back to you to fix it. And she looks at me and goes, what do you mean it's incorrect? And I said, well, this box says it's checked off that I've had vaginal or anal intercourse with the male in the last 12 months, and that's incorrect. And uh, she looks at the nurse who was still in the room at this time, and she said, well, this doesn't make any sense. This is what I've been checking off. I went to go hand her the paper, and she, like, pretty much snatched it out of my hand. Um, and let me explain. I've been going to the high-risk doctor for the past couple of weeks. Um, not because anything's wrong with me or the baby, but um, literally just off of weight. Um, I wasn't like a stick before I got pregnant, therefore I was automatically considered high risk based off of my BMI. On this particular day, the woman that was doing all the blood pressure and stuff like that, she was by herself. There's usually two women back there and one of them had called out. So she had to deal with all of the high risk patients by herself. So I already knew that she was like not having a great day. So she like forcefully took the paper. I wouldn't necessarily call it a snatch, but she didn't like just take it from me either and um, looks at the nurse who was standing next to me and goes, I just can't deal with this, can you just? 
Um, so the nurse that was with me goes, just go back in the waiting room and we'll get it figured out. So I'm like, okay. So I go back in the waiting room and mind you, throughout this whole process, I've pretty much been checked in for my appointment for almost an hour now. So Trinice is sitting in the waiting room and she's like, what's going on? You know, what's happening? And I said, I don't know. Nothing's happened yet. And Trinice is confused, you know. And I try to explain to her what pretty much just transpired in, in the back room when I get called again by another nurse. Now this nurse I've never worked with before. I've never seen her before. Um, she calls me um, to the back and takes me to the lab and says, um, we're gonna go ahead and get you screened for your HIV test. So I said, okay, no problem. You know, um, this is what I was here to do anyway. So we walk into the lab and thank God um, there's no one in here. Um, there were people in there the first time when I explained to the technician that something was wrong. But by the time all of this had transpired, all of them had already had their blood drawn. So it was just myself and this nurse and then the two lab technicians that were in the back. And they had the door open in the window or whatever. So anything that was pretty much conversated at that time could be heard by anybody in the room. The nurse who I've never interacted with before stops me before we go into the actual lab part, like in the waiting area um, in front of the window and goes, well, we checked the box off because it says vaginally or anally. Um, and I was like, I know. And she was like, well, there's a slash there. And I looked at her and I was like, I know, but it's wrong. And she was like, well, the slash means either or. You either vaginally had sex with a male in the last 12 months or you anally had sex with a male with the la within the last 12 months. And I said, I know what the slash means, but it's wrong. And she looks at me and she goes, but you're pregnant. And I was like, right. She said, so obviously you've had sex with a male within the last 12 months. And I look at her and I was like, no. And she like literally steps back and like, she's on this side of me and I'm on this side. She steps back and goes, like looking at my stomach. And she's like, yes. And I step back and look at her cause now I have a full on attitude. And I'm like, no, there are like a thousand ways to have children these days without having sex with a male. So she goes, oh, oh, you were artificially inseminated. I said, yes, I have a whole wife in the waiting room who's been here to every single appointment. Um, and that's what I've been trying to tell y'all for the last 30 minutes. The box is checked wrong. She said, oh, I get it now. I get it now. I understand. And she goes, just go ahead and get your blood drawn and I'll get the paperwork fixed. So while I'm back there, the technician goes, is everything okay? Mind you, she heard everything that just transpired. And I was like, I guess, I just don't understand why that was such a confusion. <laughs> and she said, honestly, when you first told me that the box was checked wrong, I pretty much put two and two together. After this goes on, I go back into the waiting room and I tell Therese of all of everything that has happened, you know, from the time I go back to the first nurse or the first lady when she took the paperwork very harshly from me, from the time the lady took me back and like basically tried to tell me that I had sex with the man to get my baby. And Trinice is pissed, like she is pissed. So they call me back and um, Trinice told me that she wanted to speak to a supervisor. Um, long story short, uh, the supervisor didn't want to speak to Trinice because of patient um, basically hip I guess um, she wanted to make she wanted to talk to me if I wanted to talk to her which I did you know um, and I explained to her the supervisor I honestly was not as pissed as Trinice um, reason being that is you know Trinice was going off of what I was telling her so of course Trinice is thinking of it like I'm already irritated that y'all don't allow spouse spouses or whatever to come to the room until like the very end of the appointment um, you know when you're checking on the baby you know which we, we are okay with that because in the beginning, all they like I said, they do your weight and your blood pressure and they make you pee and stuff like that. So it's not like she's like necessarily needed in the beginning of the appointment anyway. So, um, you know, I, I explained to the supervisor, you know, I'm not as upset as my wife is. You know, I'm not going to lie. However, I truly am pissed if you will about how everything just transpired you know um it's not even so much as the first lady and i explained it to her the first lady i was not upset about because like i said it was a high-risk day she was the only one and i can visibly see 
that she was, um, I could visibly see that she was um, busy. So I wasn't upset about the very first lady. However, the second lady is really, truly what pissed me off. Um, you know, how dare you? You know, how dare you assume that just because I'm pregnant, you know, I had to have had sex with a man. I, I understand why there was confusion. Why, you know, in the beginning of the whole appointment, I, I understood why, because I am a pregnant female and, you know, in this closed minded time, uh, people have this one way of thinking and I get that. I was not upset that, you know, they assumed that I had sex with a male. Um, however, if they had just asked me, um, before filling out that box for me, I could have explained the situation. Or even when I went to the first lady who was overwhelmed and I, she had asked me, well, what do you mean it's incorrect? And I could have just explained my situation. Or even the second lady who brought me back who didn't know me from Adam, who tried to explain to me how I got pregnant. If she had just asked me, you know, it would have been so much simpler than going through a whole slew of people to pretty much explain my business in front of strangers you know it's not like i'm ashamed of how we got pregnant i mean that's the only way we could have gotten pregnant you know what way worked for us you know um is the artificial insemination you know um i don't need to explain to you that i did it at home i don't need to explain to you how i got pregnant but medically i'm telling you that this paperwork is incorrect i'm just like <sighs> They thoroughly, thoroughly pissed me off, um, needless to say. So that's pretty much um, what happened on my last doctor's appointment. Um, it didn't end quite well. Um, the supervisor understood where we were coming from. You know, she said she was going to talk to the nurses who handled the situation the incorrect way. And they were going to use our example as, you know, um, it is a new day and age, and there are such things as heterosexual and homosexual couples who get pregnant and the protocol of how you handle heterosexual and homosexual um, doesn't need to necessarily be different but you can respectfully ask someone about their situation without prying um, a simple would you mind filling out this box would have been sufficient I could have filled the box out myself and if they had said oh well, ma'am you know blah 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 then I would have been like oh well no blah 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 you know or even if they had asked me you know like I said if they had just asked me from jump um but Trinice and I were thoroughly upset about that so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and give you a belly shot I'll be 30 weeks tomorrow you know today's Friday that you're seeing it so I'll be 30 weeks tomorrow so we have 10 weeks left of this little girl brewing. So yeah, let me go ahead and get that belly shot. So we've got the front view here. So we've got one side and the other side. So like always, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Make sure you comment down below anything you might want to see in the future. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more updates. But we'll see you next time. Bye.